Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first match of the day. We're starting right away because um, the players are starting right away, but that's fine, that's fine. I like it when I get to see some hearts and I hope you guys like it as well. Um, here we will see Seraph versus Jurgen. I kind of have to still spectate Seraph. There we go, Seraph at the top, Jurgen in the on the bottom, and we see that Jurgen is um, playing a very aggressive Paladin, and I think Seraph is playing the same thing to be honest. Uh, but, uh, and there we go with the spectate. Yes, very nice, very nice. Let's do this. Um, okay, uh, let's see. We have a oh, very strong start by Jurgen here, and this is <laughs> immediately the bad part about this matchup. Like, mm. Um, the one that goes first in this matchup has a very large advantage. So Seraph should have a large advantage in this matchup because he can easily trade away his um, his Murloc next turn, or well, trade away his Murloc survives and Jurgen's Murloc dies, which will make it very hard for him mm. to come back on this board. It's Seraph's turn, but it's kind of not working for me, so I'm going to try and rejoin this uh, match for a bit because I'm. Experiencing a bit of a spectator look at the moment. Let me try. So it was Jurgen on the bottom. There we go. Oh, Seraph on the top. Wow, we see that <laughs> all of a sudden we're three turns further and uh, Jurgen is on board and Seraph is not, so that's what where my speculation went. Wow, this is unexpected to be honest. So here we go, the Peacekeeper on the War Leader and the Falfin played together with it. What a strong board this is already for Jurgen. Yes, here we go, another War Leader picked up to get the value trade on the uh, peacekeeper and a yeah do you go face or do you kill the murloc in this case you always kill the murloc because as just as you can get a value trade with the war leader he can get a value trade as well finja has a very strong card but in this match a bit slightly less strong but at least we see that he has a keeper terim in his hand the problem with that terim however in this case at least is that um the buff of the murloc still applies so now we're going face, and I'm pretty sure that he uh, Seraph will kill the 3-1 war leader with his Finja into Sunkeeper Dream. But even then, the minion, like the uh, middle minion, the, what's it called again? Rockpool Hunter, will still be a 5-4. Yes. So let's see how this big one turns out. There we go, no Charger Murloc, unfortunately, and the Hydrologist pulled, which means no secret for Seraph. He did pick up Consecration, however, but that's not good enough. And here we go, buffing all his minions, but as I said, a 5-4 Murloc for Jurgen, and he can get some good trades in now. Mm, he's probably going to trade in the 5-4, or maybe he'll just Peacekeeper, yeah, he'll definitely Peacekeeper, then trade in to me is and with his weapon will probably kill the Finja. And then he still has one minion left, which will probably trade it to the the utter right minion, which is the Murloc Tidecaller, of course. And there we go. Maybe he'll peacekeeper the Finja, which is interesting. I'd rather see a peacekeeper on the 3-7, but in the end it'll do about the same. Except that you take slightly more damage on your 5-4 now. That was unnecessary, I guess. But it's fine. Uh, the War Leader will die, however, this turn. And if he plays the his own War Leader plus the Megazord, then he still has a very good chance of winning this, to be honest. So this buffs it, and if he can get Divine Shield or um, Health or something. Yeah, Health is pretty good. And there, it, he goes for it as well. Okay, so there we go. Health on both means it'll be kind of harder to kill them. 
Uh, but not impossible. And here it goes for a snap curator goal. The menagerie is for guests only. Uh, guests only indeed. He will kill the war leader and then with his weapon will kill the small warlock as well. Or not with his weapon. Oh wow, it's a 3-4 because of the health buff. Of course, I totally forgot about that. And I think Jürgen forgot about that as well. Um, what will we see here? Will we see another Tareem? Wouldn't you play the uh, hero power first? Or are you planning to buff your Murloc? I guess that is his plan. But no, from now on, Seraph has the board, but Jürgen has the hand, right? So what can Jürgen do? to come back on this board? That's the real question. Put your faith in the light. And here we go. Tyrion on the board, but luckily for Seraph, another very good draw for him. Can give his minions divine shield, which is very helpful in this situation. You trade in all your minions to kill the Tyrion. <laughs> but of course, they won't die. Will you equality this board? That's an interesting idea, but I don't think it's worth it. I think you'll have to keep your equality and you get a good enough trade as is at the moment. He decides not to kill it. That is very interesting because... How are you going to win this match against that hand of Jürgen? It's too, it's way too large for you to deal with, with only one card in hand, 13 HP, and no card draw to speak of in the deck. So what can he do? There we go, a getaway Kodo, or a Noble Sacrifice. I think he'll go for the getaway Kodo because it's so good together with the Thorazen. Uh, Thorazen. Look at me, living in three months ago with the Tyrion. Um, decides to kill the 1-1 one, one, or the 2-3, which I uh, get, he gets the good one, which is very unfortunate for Seraph, but as I said before, I'm not entirely sure why he didn't just kill the Tyrion when he had the chance. Because now it's more expensive. That's, uh, well, I would say it's a good pickup, but in this situation it might not be that amazing. Um... Well, you peacekeeper the 6-6 six, six, and then what? You trade with the 5-4 and the 1-1. One, one. Interesting, but is it good enough? That's the real question, because now he'll get the Tyrion back in his hand. It's, uh, it's been such an effort for Seraph to deal with it. So, if Jürgen decides to play it again, what can Seraph do? Is there anything he can do? Seraph does decide to trade away his Divine Shield for the 2-2 two -two minion. Has a very wide board at the moment, but yeah, unlimited taunt and heals from Jürgen. So this does look rather bad for Seraph, to be honest. Uh, bad is not impossible, of course. Uh, let's see what Seraph can do in this game at the moment. Of course, this is a best of five, and this is the second card fight of the Card Fight 3 series. And we have lots of Maltese players, and I even saw a Dutch player signed up, and I hope he's online by now, because else he will have had the forfeit. Let me check. He does not seem to be online, so I guess he forfeited this spot, which is a shame, because uh, I, I like it if players of my own nationality compete in foreign competitions, of course. And there is a Consecration, so he does actually play Equality Consecrate, which is once again very interesting, because he had a very aggressive start. Um, yeah, he, he's going to go for it, for sure. He needs to keep those all his minions alive, to be honest, because else he ha really has no chance. But he is getting closer to that kill. 13 HP left for Jürgen, but 3 taunts in his hand. So here we go, Stone Hill Defender, probably into... Uh, Sogoth? Maybe? Yeah, I guess. Or Ancient of Blossom. Ancient of Blossoms is not even that bad, actually. Like, it does 8 HP for a 6 mana, me, and, and the 3 attack doesn't really matter, as you can see against this board. 
or as you can see now, because it just got equality. What will Jurgen decide to do with his weapon? Uh, in my opinion, he should probably kill a minion. But I can understand if he goes face, but... It's like three turns before he has lethal, right? So killing a minion is better in this case. Okay, true silver top deck might be able to deal with the board, but still, this is. Ah, uh, you're so far behind, and what will you do if the second Tyrion comes out? Yes, you can clear that 3 8 taunt, but that's only one card, right? It's a, and, and half of the card is still on the board, or like one third. But that's already too much, and here comes the Harrison Jones together with the Stone Hill Defender. Harrison first, of course, because you want to draw your cards first. That's always the case. And there we see a Black Knight as well. What will he choose here? I think you might as well choose the Wicker Flame. Yep, decides to do that as well, but this game is already over to be honest. Like, what can Seraph draw to get back? Like, maybe, maybe he can draw a um, Deathwing and still win, or... Oh, that's another good option. If you can get Tyrion from this, and there it is. Tyrion might, might be the out he's so desperately looking for. It might also be tempting to pick the Ground Street Protector because else you'll be dead next turn, which is indeed the case. So it's a 6-6 six, six taunt, it gives two Divine Shields, but those Divine Shields are kind of wasted on one attack minions. You can't get that good trades with them anyway, as you can see here. And there's a Black Knight in the hand of Jürgen. So Jürgen decided to uh, spice his deck up a bit with those legendaries. We see Tyrion, Reglighter, and Harrison, which are completely standard. But then again, we also see Onyxia and the Black Knight, which are far, far from standard. Let me think. Follow the rules. So let's see, what do we see here? A better board, a better everything for Seraph or for Jurgen, and even even the curator won't help him here. He even <laughs> runs the Galeka Crawler and Merlocks as well, but this is not enough. Uh, what might have been enough is. Okay, Repentance is, or uh, Noble Sacrifice is the best he's gonna get here, but is it enough? No, it's not. Like, you trade... Oh, now now it's not enough for sure, and he could even play the Black Knight here just to kill the 4-6, but he knows he doesn't need to. Decides to keep the secret because this is, of course, last hero standing, so... Whatever you're going to do, you're going to keep uh, playing with the deck that you're winning with. Which, in this case, means that Seraph's Paladin is done for the day. I'll give it a little cross, and here I'll try to go to the streamer screen. Oh wow, it's me. Hi guys. Thanks for watching this uh, this stream, and we'll wait slightly before you uh, before Sarah decides his next deck for the match. He's 1-0 behind against Jurgen here in the first round of the card fight tournament. Card fight 4, apparently. I was wrong. I thought it was 3, but it's 4. And there we go into the game once again. I will fight with honor. And what do we see here? We see, of course, the Paladin once again, and on from Seraph's side, the Shaman. Now, I'm not entirely sure how good the Shaman is versus this Paladin, and I should know because I'm going to play it at Dreamhack this weekend. So let me look it up very quickly. In the meanwhile, we see a um, pretty mass start by Seraph, to be honest, but it's good enough to keep the aggression at bay. Yes, let's get those deck matchup win rates, uh, which I like so very much. Um, here we have a token shaman, and it's trying to win against a murloc paladin. It's slightly favored in doing that, so I guess Seraph made a good choice in uh, playing this. That's, that's like an, uh, there's a 55% uh, win rate. Well, not bad, not bad at all. 
Well, you're gonna get here. Sergal is probably too slow, right? Um, so it's either Psychotron or Stegodon, and I think Stegodon gives you the best value for your mana, and apparently you're gonna think so as well. Uh, Seraph picked up a very good me, to be honest. The Primal Fin Totem, very hard to deal with being Jurgen, and of course that's the idea of the deck. You spawn so many tokens, and after the third AoE you're, like, you're done. Uh, Jurgen only runs two AoEs, I think, like two Consecrations, together with Equalities. But those Equalities won't do too much. Um, I haven't seen a Primordial Trick either from Jurgen, because when I thought he was going to draw it, we what saw a... Called Onyxia. Interesting, at least. Here we see a noble sacrifice picked up. Not a secret I like too much, to be honest, but it's getting played quite a lot. No weapon in sight yet, so maybe he will spare the pirate for now, but he kind of wants to draw patches as well. What do we see here? Prox the Noble Sacrifice with his 1-1. One, one. Very cheap way to deal with it. If he gets the Spell Power Totem, then his Milsom Portal would be very strong. If he, get, if he gets a Taunt Totem, then his Milsom Portal will at least deal, and his weapon will at least deal with the Taunt. And he still protects his 0-3. Actually, in every case, he protects his... No, no, that's not the case, because the Murloc War Leader will make sure that the 2-2 two -two will be enough to kill that 0-3. Tricky situation, to be honest. This looks like he's going for the taunt to set up for the um, True Silver Champion. Like, if Jürgen has a True Silver Champion now, he kills the 1-4, but on the other hand, there's a Pirate in hand for Seraph. So, a very good play. I hope he doesn't play the Pirate now. And there we go. It's also kind of hard to deal with the uh, Primal Fin Totem now, but nonetheless, we'll, we will see the War Leader here together with the Valfin Inquisitor. Yep, there we go. Enough to kill the small minions, but not enough to kill the large minions. Will we see a Devolve here? I think we might. Uh, you hit the 1 2 first with your weapon, and then you devolve the board because. The 1 3 will be a Wisp, the 3 3 Murloc War Leader will be something else like a random 2 drop, and then the 2 2 the, the Hydrologist will be a 1 drop anyway. Yeah, uh, I, I'd like to hit the 1 2 first with the weapon though, and it looks as like Seraph was almost too quick. Uh, decides not to do it, that's interesting because it will be a random 2 drop, and the chance of it being better than a 1 2 is rather large. And there we go, it is indeed a 1 3. He starts to take care of it with the Milsom Portal and with a hit, I think. It also depends on where the hoe... Yeah, so here we saw the result of... Um, yeah, he, he, I guess he wanted to make sure that his Primal Fin Totem was protected. What will we see here? He'll trade the 1-2 in the 1-1, one, one, that's for sure. But what else will he do? Oh, and I forgot to update the score, which is very sloppy of me. So let me check that right away. And it's Jurgen who is ahead, of course. So let me change this 0 into A1, and there we go. In the meanwhile, I hope many other players are playing their matches. I see at least one. Walkover, two walkovers, three, four walkovers. So these are all people who did check in but did not show up, which is very rare. Uh, we even see Druid Banul here who uh, got to the semis last time. Uh, kind of disappointing to be honest, but oh well, it happens. Let's go back to the game at hand. And here Seraph is sorry that he doesn't have a second Milstone Portal, but at least he has that Sentry Shield monster from his Stonehill Defender, but it will get Repentance to 1 HP. And this makes sure that the Primal Fin Totem will be finally dealt with. An easy double trade for Jurgen. Uh, places Spike Ridge Steed. If only there was a Devolve in the hand of Seraph right now, that would have been so great. But alas, there isn't. And there you go. Patches drawn very bad for Seraph here. Uh, it's like everything's against him at this point. Oh wow. Kinda. 
checking my webcam here, no worries. I still think I have everything under control, but that's my one and only weakness. Kappa Keeper. Um, here we go, 5 hit on d4-2 and then a... Yeah, he can clear it, I guess. So, he played Flame Tongue Totem, and it's kind of bugged out, but I'm pretty sure it's in the right position. There you go, and then you trade, and then you trade once more. So that's a very good play by Sarah, very uh, well spotted to clear that Stegodon. He'll get a final cleaver in return though, he needs, he really needs to get back into this game on board. And this hand is not looking like that will <laughs> be very easy. He can uh, at least remove one charge of the weapon, which he will do for sure. But the bloodless pickup is just so bad, he really wanted to get a double gangster here. Oh well. It happens. A second Spike Ridge T, that's a very good pickup, as, uh, since you saw how much effort it took Seraph to deal with the last one. And once again, it looks very good for Jurgen and his Murloc Paladin. I'm curious to what Seraph has banned, uh, because if I were was running the lineup that uh, I've seen from Seraph so far, I would probably ban Paladin. But maybe, he, and if, if Token Shaman is his best deck against it, and since his last deck is Priest, I think it is. Yeah, it's not looking too good for him. I can't even say that he's playing badly or something. It's just that, that uh, even though the matchup is favored, if you draw badly, uh, then you don't have a chance. Even if I has a good draw, you're so far behind right now that it might not even matter. So at this point, you kind of want your opponent to be on like 10 HP. Um, as being the shaman, but he is not. He is far from being on 10 HP, and this feels like it's the end for Seraph's game once again. You can jade lightning get 3 3. And suicide, I had to create some board, like he gets a 4 4, I think. And now he can't suicide I anymore. I guess that was his plan, but I'd rather see a 5 5 here. And here, from here on, we'll just see Jurgen push damage in the face of Seraph, and I think it's it'll be over in two turns if Seraph doesn't concede earlier than that, because you can force quite a lot of damage already to the face. There's no lightning storm in the deck of Seraph, no volcano, nothing to deal with this larger board, and maybe this is the the difference in uh, play in. in strength as well of these two players because Jurgen is like rank 7 and Seraph is rank 15. Here we go to the f straight to the face making sure that Seraph is gonna get bruised a bit and here he comes with the firefly and the totem and another firefly just trying to go wide on board but it will not matter because Jürgen is even wider on board and it's his lethal already for him. It's 8, 14, 18, 21 damage. So even if this was a taunt totem, which it is not, it would have been lethal. He decides to evolve after the Aya trade, which means he gets a six random 6 drop instead of a random 7 drop. That might have won him the game. But no, this is a lethal for Jürgen if he sees it. And if I count it correctly, of course. Because that's... And he's counting it himself now, but now he sees, goes face with everything, and those were the two turns that I uh, said would, that it would take, I think. So here we go, round two, and this means that it is 2-0 for Seraph, and I'll try to upgrade that, update that right away, or, well, not for Seraph, of course, for... 
Saint Jürgen. Let's make that one a two. And they're now switching to a new deck. Oh, here we go again already. So let's get right into the game. This is the last deck for Seraph, the Priest. Well, it's still the first deck for Jürgen because he is 2-0 up at the moment. And it's a Dragon Priest. That's that's good. I think that's one of the better matchups he could have gotten with the Priest. Let me check very quickly. Nope, Dragon Priest. <laughs> All Priests are pretty bad versus Paladin. Who would have expected? But Dragon Priest is kind of the, the, the less worst, right? The least worst. The least bad. And especially if Jürgen doesn't have the dream sta start that he wants. And there we go, uh, one drop. Gets a two drop in return. Gets a second Dragonet operative, which he really needs. And then here's the war leader, a trade, and then shit with pain on the war leader. That's kind of for sure. But is Shadowward pain and loan enough? Yeah, I think he can play the Northshire Cleric as well, in this case. Is someone injured? And there he goes. Blessing of King House. Kings, however, will make short work of that. And now he, Sarah, what Sarah really needs is Shadow or Death, but he doesn't have one. So time to discover the Argus, or the other Peacekeeper, with the Dragonet Operative. You could also play the Twilight Drake, which will have 3... 7 HP, so it doesn't die. But I think it will get Aldord, but this is like one of this is one of the better targets to get Aldord for sure. At least for for Sarah, if it is. The question is, will Jurgen trade with the six six or just push six damage into the face? Decides to trade, which puts him into um, the dragon potion range. But does Seraph even want to use the Dragon Potion already, or does he want to play the Dragon Operative? Or does he even want to coin the Bookworm to eat the 3 3 and then trade away his Dragon into the 1 1? Uh, I don't think so, because the Bookworm will just die against the 6 5. So, might as well Dragon Fire Potion this. You already know that he wants to play the Stegodon or the Spike Receipt next turn, which means if he has no minions, that would be better. Okay, decides to not play the um, Dragonfire pot and might regret this. But since the Rallying Blade is picked up and Jurgen can get a value trade, he decides he'd rather play that together with his Murlox above the Spike Ridge Seed. So, a second chance for Seraph to play his Dragonfire pot, I'd almost say. The damage are now the damage is now still neglectable. Wow, a Shadow or Death, which might be tempting once again to use. But what else will you play here? Coin? No, Radiant Elemental. He should have played Radiant Elemental first if he was gonna Shadow or Death either way. Because then he would have had another mana. Oh, and he doesn't play the Shadow of Pain on a 1-3. That's a mistake, because now his 2-5 will die for sure. And even though we knew it would die for sure anyway with the Spike Ridge Steed, now Jürgen is not forced to play the Spike Ridge Steed, where else he would have been. Now he can just play the Stonehill Defender and trade away the 2-5. So two small mistakes by Seraph. He could have played the uh, Shadow of Death first and spared a mana, and then he was too quick in ending the turn. Well, he should have played the Shadow of Pain to protect, protect his Radiant Elemental. Oh, that's a very good pickup by Seraph, the 
Primordial Drake, very important in this matchup to deal with all those small pesky minions. And um, but for Jurgen, it it looks rather right well. He has his two or two of the three important legendaries in his hand, Tyrion and Sun Keeper Tareem. And he's seen a Shadow or Death already, I so wonder. Tyrion goes uncontested. I really like to see the coin from Mordial Drake here. There we go. Also interesting to see is the Divine Spirit. And if he has Divine Spirit, I'm like 99% sure, 99% sure, sure that he will also run Inner Fire. Uh, but probably only one of either because else he would have no space for dragons. Interesting to play the Sun Keeper here above the Tyrion. I think he thinks that he wouldn't be able to deal with the Primordial Drake if he didn't play that. A Tyrion created by the Dragonet operative. This is gonna be a tough uh, apple to crack. <laughs> a tough nut to crack, of course. Not an apple, you don't crack apples. Well, maybe some people do if they put windows on it. Haha. <laughs> Worst joke, EU. Um, but here we go with the Rockball Hunter. It doesn't do anything. Maybe you should just play your own Tyrion as counter. Because you can't deal with this one at this point. Even Poisonous from the Gentle Megazor wouldn't do anything. But this does do something. Uh, it also puts the main on 4 HP. Which means that once again it is killable with the Dragonfire Potion. But if you play, oh, you can play Dragonfire Potion, Shadowed Pain, no problem. But then you have an empty board and your opponent has the Tyrion. But on the other hand, it's the best you can do, right? What is in Loon's way? Another option is to hit the 6 4 and then play your second Primordial Drake together with the Power Shield. And I guess that there's not another thir third option even to play the bookworm on or to hit and then play the bookworm power shield that. But I like this. And there's a black knight just a turn too late. A very fancy card though, but just a turn too late to deal with the Tyrion. However, it will destroy that for six. What can the Dragonet operative find in the deck of Jurgen to deal with this? Tyrion. I think he can find an, a peacekeeper. And there it is, a peacekeeper found. Wow. Sometimes lucky. Should you really use the power shield now on the 5-6 or on the 3-5. Because you really want to draw and, and cycle your, through your deck, get more options. Ooh, a Stonehill Defender, very strong in this deck because he can pick Tyrion or some Keeper Tree from it usually. Uh, Burn Bristle, not bad either. The other two are kinda bad though. Uh, maybe Infested Tauron isn't that bad, but still, Wicker Flame is way better. Decides to go for the Infested Tauron anyway. Uh, I would have rather seen the Wicker Flame. And gets Poisonous on the 1-1. One -one. Unfortunately for him, the 1 1 will be destroyed by the Primordial Drake whenever it gets played. Here we see a health buff as well. I like to see a Power Shield on a 3 3 and then a Primordial Drake into double trade, maybe. Single trade. There we go, that's a Power Shield. Shadow or Death. Slightly late. But it's good enough, right? You can eat the 1 1 with. <laughs> you don't even need to use the Primordial Drake. You can eat the 1 1 with the Bookworm and Shadow of Death and Megasaur. And here we go. Getaway Kodo on the 1 1. Feels good, man. That's the, that's the target you want to hit with that. Interesting to use the 5-4 here, but I think he wants to play around Consecration. Nope, wouldn't have mattered. Decides to give his opponent, you know, opponent a weapon as well. And there is the Sun Keeper to Ream, but I, I'd rather see the Black Knight here. It's so strong at this point. 
And this is a tough matchup for Seraph, but that's only because the uh, Paladin has so much value in his deck. And as I said before, maybe it would have been better for Seraph to ban the Paladin above whatever else he banned. Clean board for Seraph now. What can he do to come back? Um, Shadow Visions might give him the answer he's looking for. I think the answer he is looking for is a second Dragonfire Potion uh, to use next turn or the turn after. And maybe just play a naked Kabbalist. or uh, what's it called? A Kabbal Talon Priest this turn. Besides to Hero Power Pass, but I think you get too much damage like that. Jürgen can also hero power pass, and then there's 6 damage coming in your face. And yes, you get more options because you draw a card, but is that enough options? That's the real question. Seraph will use his weapon stack to remove the two, two and get dominance back on the board. But it's not really dominance if you have nothing either. They're equal on board right now, including the weapon. That, that's a bad pickup for Jurgen. Uh, he'll just hero power some keeper probably. In the meanwhile, Seraph is going down, it's go <laughs> not very slowly either, but there's st still no dragon in his hand to activate that bookworm. And yes, he can clear once again, but he's, he's still slowly dying. Not even that slowly. Needs to use a dragon fire pot here. Oh, there's Ragnaros the Light Lord, but what will it do with the Shadow or Death in hand for Seraph? Not too much. What surprised me most from Seraph's play is that one is deck building with the Divine Spirit in a fire. If those who were dragons, then there wouldn't have been a problem at all for him. And there's the 